Our uh, first guest tonight is a uh, talented young inventor who is revolutionizing the way college kids get their beer. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the inventor of the beer launching fridge, John Cornwell. Good to have you on the, on the program. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Huntington, Long Island. Huntington, originally. Long Island. Oh, yep. a local man. Well, I that's am. good to hear. And you go to school where? Uh, I just graduated just in May graduated? from Duke. Uh -huh. And what were you studying there? Electrical engineering and computer oh, science. Right up your alley then, isn't it? And, and do, you, do you drink a lot of beer? Uh, I drink a lot, but I, I work you know, harder than I drink, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and in the past, have you invented other things? Uh, I have. Uh, the most notable was a tennis ball launcher that mm -hmm. launches tennis balls about 500 miles an hour. Whoa, Look. 500 miles an hour. And this was a shoulder-mounted tennis cannon, is yep. that correct? Yeah, that's me. And, and what powered the uh, tennis ball launcher? <laughs> uh, compressed air. Mm -hmm, compressed air. And uh, the distance at 500 miles an hour, how far could you get a tennis ball to go there? I'm not really sure about distance. I do know it went straight through a tennis racket. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. And, and uh, did you sell many of those? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm worried about liability in yeah. terms of... Well, I like the looks of that thing, though. It seems like it might be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, now, did I get the uh, scenario right? Uh, t tell us where the idea came to you. I mean, I think it's the kind of idea a lot of beer drinkers have toyed with uh, since the beginning of time, really. Yeah. <laughs> I think you hit the nail on yeah. the head. I, I think most guys have been in a really comfortable position on the couch. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to get up and right. you want another beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and uh, did, the, did the design come easily to you? Uh, yeah, I think that I've done a lot of robotics in the past. Mm -hmm. and I just see it in my head and, and build it. And, and what, what, did, uh, what was the expense involved here? It was maybe $500 and 150 hours of work. Yeah. And people oh. say I'm a lazy person for, you know, I don't want to get off at the couch. Right, but... sure. Yeah, no, you really, <laughs> exactly. It, it yeah. was a lot of work. Yeah, well, the mother of necessity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or whatever that goes. Uh, <laughs> Now, will you sell this? Are people interested in buying this? I was surprised how many people are interested in buying it. But <laughs> <laughs> mainly the emails I get are like, yo, dude, that's awesome. Can uh -huh. I buy one? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and, and, and if you were able to mass uh, produce them, what would they cost? <clears throat> I think it would be about uh, uh, $1,500. $1,500? And this thing pays for itself in a weekend, really, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, we have it here, and if the guys will bring it out, we'll demonstrate the, you're, you're calling it the beer launching fridge, beer is launching what it is? Beer launching fridge, that's yeah. correct. Well, that's a beauty. Yeah. So. Okay, now here, you have the remote control there. Keyless entry to your mm -hmm. car. Keyless entry. You step, hit unlock. Starts rotating. But there goes the arm, sure. And what's <laughs> Now, this is a regular refrigerator that's been modified. Slightly, slightly. Yeah. And then uh, hit lock, mm -hmm. and here comes the beer. Okay. Hopefully. That's tremendous. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Congratulations, John. A grateful nation salutes you. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck. There you are, the man who invented the beer launching fridge, ladies and gentlemen.